reading stars are very common nowadays in every application. And you can implement one very fast in our systems. Let me show you how. This is my service studio. I'm inside a reactive app application. Let me demonstrate this by creating an entity called feedback. Very apt for using a reading. So let's say there's a name of the person who gives maybe date when he gives the feedback, the comment that he has for us to see and the rating. Make sure the rating attribute is set to integer because we're going to save numbers in there. And then I'm going to drag and drop this entity here to create the usual listing and detail screen. There you go. First, let's modify the listing screen. So comment, I think it can be a long field, so I don't want to take the whole space here. I'm going to display this next to, or maybe under the uh, name field, looks better. And then I can get rid of the comment. And then the rating is also here. Now instead of having this rating as an expression, the number displayed, right, I can delete it. So I just use the keyboard delete there. And then in the widget side here, I'm going to look for the rating star here. I can just drag and drop this here to the same space that was there and assign it the value of the rating. So any record that is saved, its rating value in this list will be displayed here. It also has a couple of other parameters. For example, we can define the rating scale, which means how many stars there should be by default. By default, it's five. Maybe I can have 10 just to demonstrate you this. Is that it? Some of these things I'll show you on the detail side. So let's uh, move on to the detail side. So that's the display. If I go on the detail side, the form is like this. By default, we have a text field there. Platform has helped us with having these fields, but I don't need a text field. I'm going to remove it. I see immediately see an error, which means the, I mean, which is for the label, which is still looking for the input. I can point it to none. And then I'm going to do my rating. Okay, so instead of a text box, we're going to use a rating star. I'm going to bring it down a little. And then this whole thing, maybe I can put some margin. Right now it looks very close to the buttons there. How about we put margin at the bottom? Looks better. And then uh, going back to the rating star. Okay, so which is here. Let's look at its properties. So rating value, same as what we did on the listing screen, pointed to the rating field. Just show it here. Rating scale, we need 10 stars by default. Is that it? So yes, this detail screen may be a good place for users to key in their rating. Size, if you have any preference, do it. But then this is the important part here, the event. So we have to handle the change event and then we can make an assignment to the rating field. Just see how. So new client action. You can see this client action rating on select returns as a value. This is the value we can assign to our rating field in the uh, entity. How to do this is by using an assignment operator. And we will point left hand side to have the rating and right hand side will have the value coming in from the rating on select. Okay, so in the end, because this uh, rating get feedback ID where we have selected is tied to our form, things will be properly saved in database and the same will be reflected on the GL page. And that's it. Let's go ahead and publish the application to see the outcome. It's ready now. Listing screen. But let's go to the listing first to create some records. So maybe John is creating a feedback. Uh, maybe he is creating today. You can automate this, by the way. And the comment maybe looks good. And the stars. Now, because they're in edit mode, we are able to see this animation when you mouse over. Maybe he's giving uh, these many stars. Okay. And he can save. Once it saves, we read back to the listing screen where we can see the rating star also there for against this record, but this one is not editable as I chose to. And that's how you use a rating star. Thanks for watching.